Let's look at how to calculate portfolio return. Please take a moment to read this problem, pause the screen, and read about a portfolio with Microsoft and Pepsi stock. We need to figure out how much we have in each of these two companies, what return we're getting from these stocks, and therefore what the, what the return of our portfolio is. So let's start out. We have Microsoft stock. We've got 2,000 shares of Microsoft at $25 a share, $50,000 invested in Microsoft. For Pepsi, we have $3,000 at $36 a share. We have $108,000 invested in Microsoft for a total portfolio value of $158,000. Now, let's suppose we hang on to those 2,000 shares and the share price goes up to $33. Now, our stake in Microsoft is worth $66,000. We still have 3,000 3, shares of Pepsi, but now that price has gone down to $32. So we only have $96,000 in Pepsi for a total portfolio value of $162,000. What's our return? We have $162,000 minus what we paid, $158,000. We have a $4,000 return. Let's turn that dollar return into a percent. We have a $4,000 gain. We paid $158,000. We have a little over 2.5% return from our investment in Microsoft and Pepsi. Now, another way of looking at this is to look at each individual stock and what the return is for Microsoft and the return from Pepsi. So in this case, for Microsoft, the stock is worth $33. I paid $25. That's an $8 gain. $8 gain over $25 price paid is a whopping 32% gain. For Pepsi, I paid $36. It's now worth $32. I lost $4 a share on Pepsi. So I have a minus $4 return over a $36 price paid for a negative 11.1% return. So I made money on Microsoft, lost money on Pepsi. Well, what weight do I have of each of these stocks in the portfolio? For Microsoft, I have $50,000 in Microsoft, a total portfolio value of $158,000. That's a percent of 31.6%. In Pepsi, I have one minus 0.316%. Or, I could have said, well, I have $108,000 in a portfolio worth $158,000, and I get the same answer, that's 68.4%. Now, what's the return on my portfolio? I have 31.6% in Microsoft times a 32% return plus 68.4% in Pepsi times a negative 11.1% return. And sure enough, that is exactly the same answer. I get 2.53% return. The final question in the problem that you read in the initial slide said, well, what are the weights of the new portfolio? Because the values have changed, the market value weights are going to change every time the price changes. So to calculate the new values, remember I had 66,000 in Microsoft and I had 96,000 
and Pepsi for a total portfolio value of 162,000. So the weight of Microsoft is 66,000 divided by 162,000 or 0 0.407, about 41%, and the weight in Pepsi is 96,000 divided by 162,000 or a weight of about 